Live, local, late, breaking, and coming to you from coast to coast, you final edition of The Brew. Jersey Joe here, Ein Eyes in the Box over there with a fantastic Yankee cap I always approve on. Very fashionable, and I would almost say a thing of beauty. Get where I'm going there? Yeah, beauty is important. <laughs> it is important. And that's a question we put out on social media for this edition of The Brew, speaking of beauty. Would you let someone that you know or loved one get a boob job, a facelift, a tummy tuck, or some type of cosmetic surgery and then what do you think about people that do that and, and uh, you know whether they're intimate you know people you know how they're perceived it's all about boob jobs facelifts and all that right now on the brew so join our live conversation right now those of you watching live make sure you chime in and join our discussion we got a few of your comments coming up in just a few minutes but joel let's go to you first as always because you're in the box over there on the right i don't know if you know this about me my tits are fake so uh <laughs> okay <laughs> hard pass anyhow <laughs> So, would you ever have it done? Is the question. Oh yeah, yeah. I would. I would have my cock enlarged to be like, you know, a yardstick. Basically, you could just swing around like a helicopter. Well, you know what? I guess that you got to do what you got to do when the air conditioning goes down and stay cool. But um. <laughs> oh no, I could just do it to fly around. It would be better than having that superhero shit. <laughs> and it's, it's that's your own superpower that you just keep in that box over there on that side of the screen. Great <laughs> helicopter. But what about, like, would you say a significant other, a loved one, like being intimate with someone who, you know, who has had a procedure like that done? What do you think about that? I mean, does that do anything for you when, like, you know, a woman has surgery like that? Uh, you just don't grab the titties. Oh, you don't grab the titties. Well, here's here's my thought on that. I mean, your body is, well, in fact, I'm going to read Burl Owl's comment because I agree with what Burl Owl says right here. Writes in and says, if it boosts your self-esteem, why not? It's still their body. I don't mind. So I, I agree with that. If it is their body, you can do what you want with your body. You want to get a bunch of tattoos, you get a bunch of tattoos, whatever. But on the intimate side, like take Joan Rivers, for example. She had so much plastic surgery, she couldn't she couldn't feel her face. So when you kiss that person or, you know, when they're a girl, like at the big knockers, but you put your face down there and she doesn't feel it, that takes away from some of the experience for me. So you do what you want to your body. But I'm saying is you got to think about, like, there are consequences or uh, other you know things that will change your life in a way, if you get what I mean. Yeah, of course. I mean, it's always up to the individual, but it's I, I agree with uh, both you guys, actually. It's mm -hmm. not that big of a deal. Starman writes it, and he's got a comment. I'm going to bring this in, too, as part of the conversation. We didn't ask this part, though, but he says, what about tattoos? Although we don't have any. Well, okay, I mean, tattoos, too. I mean, you could technically classify that as a beauty procedure and enhancement to your body as well. Yeah, it's like the cousin of it. I mean, body enhancement, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I mean, but it's more art, but people that are my age and younger, specifically, like, covered in tattoos. Some things about tattoos, like, it can change what happens in your professional career. Like, take, for example, remember A.J. Burnett for the Yankees? You know, he had the full sleeves of tattoos, but back when George Steinbrenner was alive, you know, and for a while after he died, they had to cover that up. Like, it's 100 degrees in July, and he wasn't allowed to show his tattoos as a Yankee, so he's out there sweating on the mound because that's part of it. When I worked at the TV station in Pittsburgh, one of the artists had a big skull tattoo on his wrist, and my boss there is like, you can't have that out in public, so that guy, too, in the summertime was wearing long sleeves so you know when you alter your body in certain ways yes you can do what you want yeah but that's more of an indictment on the company because mm -hmm. that's just body art and besides not only that everybody's gonna have that like most people are gonna have that you and me starman whoever else the fuck is watching this is in the minority in this mm -hmm. most people have them a lot of people younger than me like i was saying so that he has to cover it up or whatever i mean that's an indictment on the uh the company not on the actual individual. It is, it is. But it, I guess what I'm saying is, you know, when you do, like, when, you know, women make the giant boobs, you know, get the real big boob job, you're not necessarily going to find that person as a school teacher in an elementary school. Like, it kind of, sometimes when you do those changes, what I'm saying professionally, it kind of limits you to what you can do. But again, you know, maybe she doesn't want to be a school teacher. I'm saying that again, your body, do what you want. I totally agree with that. But sometimes I'm just saying you maybe you got to think about that a little bit, like, what will happen if dot, dot, dot. Well, it shouldn't. I mean, I don't give a fuck if the person making my taco at Taco Bell has a sleeve tattoo. Me neither. It doesn't affect anything. No, I, I agree 100% on that one. So it's just interesting because we've kind of, you know, we have freedom to do what we want, but yet sometimes we don't. But, you know, like I said, you know, it is your body. I do believe if you can afford it, that's the other part, too, because two things I'm going to say about this. A, just like people with tattoos, they get addicted to it. You know, like Joan Rivers, for example... She died to make herself beautiful. She was in the chair, you know, getting this thing shot up in her when she died to keep herself young and beautiful. So it's amazing the length some people will go and the cost they'll pay, you know. So there's more to it than just, you know, just going ahead and doing it, I guess. 
Yeah, I mean, there's people that don't have hobbies, so that becomes their hobby. Or that's mm-hmm. just what they grew up enjoying, their dad tattooing their mom. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess mm-hmm. uh, getting a tattoo on your cat, like that guy did in the news, like, I don't know, months ago. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, yeah. I guess that's the one thing about being American, we have the right to choose. Well, one thing we do is we put the poll on social media. You guys always have an interesting answer for this one. And once again, it's an interesting poll. So the question is, I asked a little bit differently, though. Would you let your significant other get plastic surgery? I should have included that to all body forms of art, but whatever. And the survey result came up. 90% of the people said, yes, they would let them do it. You do what you want. 10% said no. So the poll added up to 100%. So... People in the the poll are agreeing with us, you know, hey, it's your right to choose. 10% are going to be in the 55% of people that get divorced, just so you know. Well, hey, that number keeps going up too, year for year. You know, pretty soon that'll be 90% of people getting divorced too, the way things are going now. But I'm just just kidding, trying to be positive, trying to be positive. Yeah, or be realistic. I mean, yeah, that 10% of that poll... Yeah, I got bad news for you guys. <laughs> yeah. Now, back to the question, though, like, you said you get, you get plastic surgery or boob job. Would I ever do that? No. And the reason why? I'm terrified I'm of kidding. needles. I wouldn't actually do that, except on my giant cock. That's all. <laughs> I'm scared of needles, though, so I can't even, like, get an IV in me without, like, freaking passing out. So the chance of me, like, going – the only way I would do it, like, if you're in a car accident or something like that, you know, and they can put you back together as, like, a virtual human being, then, okay, that's fine. But you know what? If I, if I, that, would, that would be, like, the last resort for me. But for my bottom line, no. I choose not to You don't want to be do a that. cyborg? <laughs> well, okay. I'll take it back. I would be a cyborg if I get, what like, a new heart. Cut off your arm. And make it a fucking rocket launcher. Ooh, no, I didn't think about that. Now, I didn't take this to the sci-fi realm. Now, if I could get myself some, like, crazy superpowers or something, all right, that might be worth it. But that's that's not a boob job unless I'm firing torpedoes out of my titties, you know? See, now that's up to the individual. <laughs> Boom! Point taken. Very nice. And that's a choice they got to make. And we like it when you choose to watch our web show. So click that like and subscribe button down below and choose the brew because you know what? That's a choice you want to make. You also want to choose to watch our web show, our web show, Kick and Mad with Jersey Show. And Thursday, we're playing the winners of the, uh, play, crown the winners of the next round of What Is It Really? My new online game show. Can my contestants playing the game really tell it's a little kid driving a car? Play along and see if you can and the other pictures on social media Thursday on Kick and Mad with Jersey Joe. More on that as my tongue unfolds. Maybe I should have plastic surgery and get myself a new tongue. Or you know I would will need eventually. It's definitely a new heart and a new liver to lay. <laughs> I live life. Smoke crack. <laughs> you know, no, no, no. We'll both end up being a... We'll have to share the same hospital room. We got our livers replaced here pretty soon. But uh, that's what happens when you uh, run yeah. a drinking web show. Can you, can you get on the list, the waiting list for a liver before you actually have a diagnosis? I'm just curious. Asking for a friend. <laughs> That's a good question. Anybody watching live, Google that for us and let us know. We'll investigate that for a later web show. But Jersey Joe here, Eye in the Box over there. Thanks for watching. Like we always tell you, we'll see you next time, I hope. <laughs>